Hello and welcome to today's 30-minute gentle yoga flow class. I'm Tani and today's class is all about slowing down, bringing some peace and calm both into the body and the mind. We're going to begin on our backs with knees bent. I invite you to gently close your eyes, placing one hand on the belly and the other on the heart. Breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Sigh, let it go. Two more deep breaths like that, breathing in and out. Feeling that release of tension with every exhale. Making that choice to let go. any distractions, letting go of any stresses, continue with a nice steady rhythm of your breath. both knees up to the chest, placing the hands on the shins, very gently rock side to side, massaging your back, keeping the right knee in, extend the left leg out to the mat and gently pull down. Begin to draw some circles with the knee. Starting to release the hip. Switching direction. And then dropping that knee out to that right side, taking the left arm into a goal post shape. Lifting that knee up and extend that right leg out to the mat. Pull the left knee into the chest. Begin to draw the circles with the knee. Switching direction. And then dropping that knee out to the side, right arm comes up into that goal post shape.
lifting the knee up, bring both knees back into the chest. And again, self-massage the back by rocking side to side. Come to one side and help yourself up to a seated position with legs crossed. Placing the hands on the knees. You're going to flow through some seated cow and cat. Begin to take your eyes up to the sky, lift the chest. And then as you exhale, reverse it. Draw the chin to the chest, round your spine back. Again, slowly lifting up and exhale back down. Continue. We're trying to work through every vertebrae. This is also a beautiful stretch here for the neck. One more round, lifting up. Exhale, round down. Come up to that seated position and then move to a tabletop on all fours. Press back to child's pose. Begin to lift back up into that tabletop. Bring the hands right under the shoulders. Extend the right leg straight out from the hip and rise up, reaching the arms over the head. Moving into gate pose, right hand to that right leg and then lift up and over. Feeling that nice stretch through the left side of the body. Coming out of the pose, keeping that right leg extended, walk the hands out for this puppy dog pose variation. Pressing into the hands, lowering the chest as the hips stay lifted. Begin to walk the hands back in. Bring the knee back in and we're gonna switch sides. So the left leg extends out, rise up, take that nice long breath in and exhale into gate pose, that beautiful side body stretch. Lifting, coming back forward into this variation of puppy dog pose. Hips lifted, lower the chest any amount. Walking your hands back in. Stepping that foot back, let's come into our first downward facing dog. Hips lifted, gently begin to pedal out your feet, bending the knees. Fingers spread, putting weight all the way through the entire hand. And then come into downward facing dog and hold your pose.
begin to walk your hands backwards towards your feet. Moving into ragdoll, cradling the elbows and the opposite palms. Gently sway side to side. Bend your knees here as deeply as you need to to lengthen out of your low back. And then find stillness in the center. Half lift, take the hands to the shins, gaze forward, lengthen the back, forward fold. Again, inhale, lengthen, gentle movement. Exhale, fold. Last time, inhaling. And exhale. Lengthen the spine. Take your hands to your waist and rise up to stand. We're going to step our right foot forward, moving into pyramid pose. So the back foot will pivot out about 45 degrees. Hips are going to remain square. Reach your arms up and then hinge forward over that leg. Pyramid pose. Feel the top of your head reaching down towards that forward foot. Begin to shift your weight and step that back left foot forward. Lengthen to your half lift, forward fold. Inhale, reach your arms up over your head, rise up, and come into mountain pose, arms at your sides. Stepping the left foot forward, setting up for pyramid on the other side, arms reach up. Exhale over that leg for pyramid. Stepping the right foot forward in line with the left, lengthen, forward fold. Inhale, rise up, bringing your hands to your heart. We're going to step the left foot back and come into warrior two. Take time here to find your pose. Front knee right over that ankle, back leg strong. Begin to straighten your front leg, come into triangle pose, lengthen out of the side body. Turning your gaze upwards if it's comfortable for your neck. Lift out of the pose, reach the arms out to the sides, turn the toes forward, standing straddle. Again, release the tension here from the neck, from the shoulders. If you need to gently turn that head side to side, forward and back, let it go. Take 
Taking the hands underneath you, lift up halfway. Then bringing the hands to the waist, inhale, rise up. Warrior two to the back, so turning the left toes forward, bending into that left knee, arms extend. Triangle pose, straightening that left leg, lean out of that side body into your triangle pose. So I wanna remind you, there's nothing magical about having to touch the floor. Just try to maintain that alignment over your forward leg, that's what's most important. Begin to lift out of the pose, arms extend, toes forward, standing straddle. Notice the weight on your feet. If it's all shifted back to the heels, see if you can bring it more forward. Evenly distribute your weight throughout the entire foot. Taking the hands underneath you, lift up halfway. This time we're gonna add a gentle twist, so keeping the hips nice and level. Take the right hand up to the hip. And then if you wish, you can go ahead and extend that arm all the way up, up to you. And down, same thing, just on the other side. So left hand to left hip, hips remain level. And then maybe turning your gaze up and that arm extends. that hand to the mat, start to walk the hands forward, stepping into downward facing dog. Begin to walk the feet forward and have a seat on your mat. We're gonna move into butterfly pose. So taking the feet connected, the bottoms of the feet connected, the knees nice and wide, you can shake those out a little bit. So we continue to loosen up those hips, sit up nice and tall, maybe grabbing onto the ankles and then begin to hinge forward in any amount. Lifting up, bringing the knees up. We're gonna lower down onto our backs. Hug both knees into the chest. We're gonna extend the left leg out to the mat. Keep that right knee in and then pivot it out to the side. So take the left hand to the bottom of the foot, the right hand somewhere on that knee and let's just rock side to side. So gentle movement for that hip joint.
Now we're gonna move into a figure four stretch. So bring that left knee in, right ankle above left knee. Maybe reaching through, grabbing on behind the thigh, or some of you might come up onto that shin. Just find your pose. Releasing and extending that right leg out. Left knee pulls in. Pivot that knee out to the side, right hand to the bottom of the foot. So it's very similar to pigeon pose. And then just add some gentle movement into that hip joint. Moving into that stretch, left ankle above right knee, reach through for some of you all the way up. Moving out of the pose. Let's take the feet to the mat. Bring those arms up into goal post shape. Drop both knees over to that right side. And then up and over to the left. Let's do that one more time on each side. Moving slowly. dropping the knees over to that right side and holding here. Moving to the other side, gentle twist, that final release here for the spine, for the back. Begin to lift up, taking the hands by your sides. Waterfall pose will be our inversion today, so extending the legs up over the hips. Begin to soften the knees, extend the legs out to the mat, rotating your palms upward, moving into our final resting pose of Shavasana. Gently close your eyes, find stillness, take a moment, scan the body from head to toe. you feel an area where you might be holding on to tension, I invite you now to choose to let it go. I'll be back with you in just a moment.
begin to take some deeper awakening breaths, bringing movement back into the body gently, starting with the hands and the feet. Then gently bending the knees, we're gonna roll onto our sides. Pausing to acknowledge gratitude and be thankful for our bodies and for our time on the mat. For whatever else it is you're thankful for today, I encourage you to bring that into your hearts. Helping yourself up to have a seat on the mat. You did beautifully. Thank you so much for joining me for this practice. Let's bring our hands to our hearts and from my heart to yours, namaste. Have a blessed day and thanks again for joining me for class.